In this video, we're going to demystify the different exposure modes that are on your camera. The exposure modes are what you've seen here on your dial. You have your M mode, your TV mode, your AV mode, your P mode. These are your exposure modes, but also on the opposite side of that dial, you're going to see those pretty little pictures of the mountain, the flower, the little head, okay? Those, those are nice. These are more automatic modes for those different types of settings, those environments. But we're going to focus on the creative side and talk first about the P mode. We're going to go into more detail about each of these later, but just generally we'll tell you what each one does so you have a better idea the next time you switch into one of those. So first, like I said, let's switch into P mode on our camera. And P mode, you'll notice that the camera is going to control the shutter speed and the aperture, depending on where you focus with your, with your camera. Okay. Based on that, it will set the shutter speed and the aperture for you so that it gets a neutral exposure. Okay. When you look through your viewfinder, you see that little grid, that tick mark going across. The camera's going to do all it can to get to that zero tick mark. Okay. And then it will allow you to adjust the ISO if you want. If it's having a hard time getting bright enough or dark enough, it'll let you adjust the ISO for that. The ISO should always be the last thing you change. And we'll talk more about that later on. But that's your P mode. Now let's move along. Let's switch into TV mode on our camera. On Nikon, TV mode is going to be your S mode. This is shutter priority mode. Okay, which means the camera is going to take care of the aperture for us while we're going to control the shutter speed and the ISO. Now shutter speed is nice, so if we want things to slow down or to speed up, we can control that. And that's often, if we're doing sports photography, we want to freeze that action, or maybe we do want a little bit of a blurred action, whatever it might be. But shutter priority gives us control over the shutter speed. Okay, let's switch into the AV mode or A mode on a Nikon. This is aperture priority mode probably the most common and most popular mode upon, among photographers. The aperture priority mode, as you might have guessed it already, is we get to control the aperture. The camera is going to control the shutter speed and we also get to control the ISO. So depending on where we focus, okay, that's our focus point. When it meters the light in that particular area, it will determine the shutter speed to go with it. We're going to say, I want more blur, I want more detail in my shot, setting the aperture value. And then where we point it is going to determine the shutter speed. This is nice. It does have a few limitations. We'll talk more about that in another video. Okay. Now, let's keep moving along on the dial here. We have M mode. Okay. This is manual mode. This is master mode. This is my everything mode because it's true. You get to control the shutter speed, the aperture, and as always, the ISO. We're going to talk more about the exposure triangle with these three and how they should be adjusted, but you get control. If you want to learn master mode, the best way to do it is to do night photography because the only way you're going to do night photography is in manual mode. Okay, we'll go through each of these in more detail, but generally, that's how that works. Now you're asking, well, wait, you're not quite done. There's still one more there. And that is the B mode. B stands for bulb mode. And this is your long exposure photography. Your shutter speed on your camera can generally do up to 30 seconds on its own. Anything longer than 30 seconds, you need to switch into bulb mode. And then you are the lucky winner to hold down that shutter button anytime you want it to go longer than 30 seconds. As soon as you let go, it's done. But there are triggers, remote triggers for cameras that will hold it for you if you want to spend some money that way as well. But we're not gonna go into bulb mode in this class, but suffice it to say, it is for night photography or long exposures that are longer than 30 seconds. And rarely do you need longer than 30 seconds, but there are cases and there's a lot of cool photos out there, but 
we, we can talk about that at another time. So these are our camera modes. They are important. And we do need to get out of the green square, which is auto, and be more confident with our skills as a photographer using any of these other modes. So here's your photo challenge for today. Grab your camera, go into all these priority modes or camera modes, and just see what the camera's doing. I want you to get a feel and to see how the camera's controlling it, which means I want you to switch into shutter priority. I want you to focus on a bright spot and I want you to focus on a dark spot in the picture. And I want you to pay attention to how the camera adjusts these settings for each of the different, the highlights and the shadows in the picture. Okay, you will notice a difference if you're using these priority modes, it will come in handy to know where you're pointing or focusing your picture. Okay, that's your photo challenge for the day. Thanks and we'll see you in the next video.